Welcome to Stone Barn Center for Food and Agriculture. I'm Jack Algier, here to share a little information with you about parsnips from the field. The parsnip, to me, and to many of the farmers and community here at Stone Barns, means winter. And this crop is really one of the real holdouts that can make it all the way into the deep freeze. So today I want to share a little bit more about this really beautiful, nutritious, and resilient vegetable. Parsnips are a relative of a carrot uh, and uh, Queen Anne's lace and umble. Uh, they're actually quite uh, closely related to their wild ancestors. Um, and generally speaking, a vegetable that is really looked at as kind of uh, a throwback to a certain extent. Um, we may uh, associate parsnips with uh, Thanksgiving and other soups as we're coming closer into the fall really because the parsnip actually improves in flavor and quality and textural quality as it gets colder. So we've had our first frost here at Stone Barns, enough to kill back uh, the more tender vegetables like peppers and even kill back some of the weeds here in the, in the area around these parsnips. But still these plants will continue to grow through November and even into December until the ground really freezes solid. And even when that happens, they can still persevere. In fact, most of the parsnips that we harvest out of the ground are left in and picked out in late February and March, as soon as we can get out here. So the ground might freeze a foot down and, and still the quality of these roots is, uh, keeps, intact, keeps intact and in fact improves in sugar and sweetness. Uh, the greens will die way back and and they are really a unique vegetable. I think one of the reasons why parsnips has fallen out of favor is partially because we eat them too soon. And waiting for a frost is really a great thing to do rather than getting them into the main summer vegetable. Um, generally speaking, parsnips and carrots and other roots that are related to uh, umbels like this have what are called turpentines in them and sounds a lot like turpentine or pine. Uh, and that flavor is really prevalent in the summer when there's a lot of heat and the plants are, are really uh, photosynthesizing and growing. But when the cooler season comes and the plant material dies back, those turpentines sort of translate and shift into more sweet sugar flavors and the real quality of parsnip can come forward. A very traditional and easy way to use parsnip is a lot like a carrot where you might chop it and uh, put it into a soup and, and that taste is really nostalgic of old world soups. Um, but there are some very creative things you can do with these. In fact, uh, they roast wonderfully. Um, you, can have, you can cook them whole uh, as we've been inspired by Dan Barber at Blue Hill to make parsnip steaks and uh, really allow these things to uh, roast slowly whole and even use them to be cut like a steak. Um, and you can also use them chopped and roasted in a, a medley of different vegetables and with beets and carrots and potatoes and sweet potatoes and celery root and all the other very interesting things that uh, are, are great hearty roots for vegetable for uh, fall soups and winter vegetables. This beautiful long variety of parsnip is called javelin. And there are several other great varieties out there that are known for their sweet flavor, long slender roots, and sometimes very heavy and deep roots. Unlike uh, carrots and, and other root vegetables like this, the tops are not edible. Uh, in fact, in the summertime, um, it's a plant to be cautious of because of its wild roots. That uh, wild parsnip and some of its other relatives, um, even uh, hemlock and poison parsnip and some that sound uh, really pretty formidable, um, 
have similar compounds in them that uh, can produce rashes and things like that. Which is another reason why we like to grow these and, and not harvest them till the fall or winter when those compounds uh, reduce in the leaves and, and allow us to uh, come in contact with the plant without any concern. So I'll encourage everyone to include parsnip into your fall menu this year and uh, look for them at the farmers markets all the way into the deep part of winter. So thanks for joining us this week and if you'd like to learn more about what we do here at Stone Barns you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out on the web at stonebarnscenter.org. <music>